मायसेल्फ माधुरी मोडक असिस्टंट प्रोफेसर इन मॅथमॅटिक्स डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ कम्प्युटर सायन्स आवेदा इनामदार सिनियर कॉलेज नवीन द पेपर डिस्क्रिट मॅथमॅटिक्स नाव वी स्टार्ट विथ युनिट फोर दॅट इज रिकरन्स रिलेशन्स नाव फर्स्ट सी वॉट इज द डेफिनेशन ऑफ रिकरन्स रिलेशन रिकरन्स रिलेशन फॉर द सिक्वेन्स ए आर इज अन इक्वेशन एक्सप्रेसिंग ए आर इन टर्म्स ऑफ वन ऑर मोर ऑफ ए नॉट ए वन ए टू ए आर मायनस वन फॉर ऑल इंटीजर्स आर ग्रेटर दॅन ऑर इक्वल टू आर नॉट वेअर आर नॉट इज अ नॉन निगेटिव्ह इंटीजर्स सो वॉट इज अ रिकरन्स रिलेशन सी हिअर इफ वी आर कन्सिडरिंग वन सिक्वेन्स ए नॉट ए वन ए टू ए थ्री अँड सो ऑन then in general rth term we are expressing in terms of previous terms a not a1 a2 ar minus 1 for all integers r greater than or equal to r not where r not is a non negative integer to define a sequence corresponding to recurrence relation it requires to know first few terms which are called as initial conditions of recurrence relation it means by knowing the first few terms and using that relation for ar we can find all the terms of that sequence for example consider this sequence 2,5,8,11,14,17 and so on so by observing this sequence we can immediately say what is the next term because here every term is obtained from previous term by adding 3 see 2 plus 3 is 5 5 plus 3 is 8 8 plus 3 is 11 and so on so in this way the next term will be 17 plus 3 20 after that we get 20 plus 3 23 like that so every term is obtained by adding 3 in the previous term so what we need to write the recurrence relation it is nothing but previous term plus 3 but while adding that 3 in the previous term we must know what is the starting element of that sequence which is 2 because once we know the first term then we can add 3 in it then we get the second term then in second term we can add 3 then we get the third term like that so in this way we can find any term of the sequence but to add 3 in that term we need first term and so here first term must be given that is called as the initial condition of the recurrence relation so how can we write finally the recurrence relation as a0 is 2 a1 is 5 equal to a0 plus 3 a2 is a1 plus 3 and so on in general we write ar equal to ar minus 1 plus 3 so ar minus 1 is the term previous to ar and in that term we are adding 3 now from which term onwards we can find the terms so this is from second term but we are giving numbering like a0 a1 a2 a3 and so on so this is for r is equal to 1 2 3 4 and so on and a0 is equal to 2 that is the initial condition so once we have given a0 equal to 2 and this recurrence relation then we can find all the terms a1 a2 a3 a4 and so on so this is the recurrence relation now see the second sequence consider the fibonacci sequence this is very famous sequence after that we will see what is fibonacci problem now consider the fibonacci sequence 1 1 2 3 5 8 13 21 and so on now by observing the terms of the sequence it is quite difficult to find the next term because here first and second term both are same now after one we are getting two means one is added after two we are getting three means one is added but after that two is added then three is added then five is added so it is not like previous recurrence ray or previous sequence in which three is added to previous term so difference was same in that case but here it is not same now observe the sequence carefully what actually we are doing see first and second term addition we are getting 2 then addition of second third term 1 plus 2 is 3 then 2 plus 3 is 5 then 3 plus 5 is 8 then 5 plus 8 is 13 like that it means every term is obtained from previous two terms by taking their 
addition means to find any term we need previous two terms so if we are given first and second term of that sequence then third term can be obtained by adding first and second term once we get third term then adding second and third term we get fourth term and in this way we can find any term of the sequence now see if we consider the terms of that sequence as a0 a1 a2 a3 a4 and so on then we can write all the terms as a0 is 1 a1 is 1 a2 is equal to 2 which is a1 plus a0 a3 is equal to a2 plus a1 a4 is equal to a3 plus a2 and so on so in general ar is equal to ar minus 1 plus ar minus 2 for all r greater than or equal to 2 means 2 3 4 5 and so on because ar depends on previous two terms so a not a1 must be given then we can find all terms from a2 so initial conditions are nothing but a not and a1 values so a not equal to 1 and a1 is equal to 1 these are the initial conditions so this is the recurrence relation for fibonacci sequence now these are some examples in which we have to form the recurrence relation now see first example a person climbs a staircase by climbing either two steps in a single stride or only one step in a single stride find the recurrence relation for the number of ways of climbing r stairs first see suppose there are r stairs in that staircase now the condition is that person can climb either two steps in a single stride or he can climb only one step in a single stride so in this way if he is climbing the stairs then how many ways are there to climb the r stairs so for this we have to form the recurrence relation now first we consider ar as the number of ways of climbing r stairs it means uh, if r equal to 10 then a10 is actually number of ways of climbing n stairs if r is equal to 15 then a15 is nothing but number of ways of climbing 15 stairs now in this case we cannot take a not because if it is a stair case then it must have at least one stair so we start with r is equal to 1 now r is equal to 1 means only one stair so there is only one way to climb one stair so one step in a single stride that is the only way so a1 is equal to 1 now see r is equal to 2 it means there are two stairs then how can he climb so we find a different ways now see one way is that only one step in a single stride so first he will go to first step then second step so that is one way so first then second it means it is 1 comma 1 that is one way of climbing that two stairs otherwise it is given that he can climb two steps in a single stride so directly on the second step so it is written in this way now there is no other way of climbing that two stairs so number of ways are 1 1 that is 2 so we can write a2 equal to Two. See why we are writing all this part because once you calculate for first few terms, then you will get some idea what will be the recurrence relation. So to get that idea, we are finding the first few terms like a1, a2, a3. Now if r equal to three, so there are three stairs now. Now see what are the different ways to climb that three stairs. Now the first way is he will go on first step. then second step and then third step which is written as 1 comma 1 comma 1 another way he will go on first step and then directly on the third step so one and after that climbing two steps in a single stride it means 1 comma 2 another way is directly first he will climb two steps in a single stride that means he will go on second step and after that one step in a single stride so it is 2 comma 1 so one step at a time then one and then two or two and then one so these are three different ways to climb three stairs so a3 equal to 3 now in general how can we find a 
Number A R. Now see the person can reach Rth stair from either R minus one stair or from R minus two stair. See what is this logic? It is given that he can climb either two steps in a single stride or only one step in a single stride. So to reach on the R stair, he must reach on the R minus one stair so that he can climb one stair, or he must reach on the R minus two stair so that he can climb remaining two steps in a single stride. So R stair he can reach from either R minus one stair or from R minus two stair, but to climb that r minus 1 stair how many ways are there it is ar minus 1 according to our definition of ar similarly how many ways are there to climb that r minus 2 stairs in the given way it is ar minus 2 so these are either or and there are no ways common so by some rule or addition principle total number of ways of climbing r stairs is addition of these base that is ar minus 1 plus ar minus 2 now here again the value of ar depends on previous two terms it means if first and second term is given then third term onwards we can find all the terms in that sequence so the condition on r is greater than or equal to 3 it means we can find from a3 onwards all the terms But for that a1 and a2 must be given, which we have calculated. So a1 is 1 and a2 is equal to 2. So from a1 a2 we can find a3. Once we get a3 from a2 a3 we can find a4 and so on. So the recurrence relation is a r is a r minus 1 plus a r minus 2 for r greater than or equal to 3. now see the second example derive the recurrence relation for the number of strings of length n using the bits 0 and 1 having no consecutive zeros now here we have to form the string of length n using the bits 0 and 1 so we cannot use any other digit here only 0 and 1 but the condition is that there should not be consecutive zeros now let n denote the number of strings of length n having no consecutive zeros and using the bits 0 and 1 now by hypothesis these string do not contain the pattern 0 0 because consecutive zeros are not allowed so before 0 1 should be there and after 0 1 should be there if it is a string of length 3 or more than that but two consecutive zeros are not allowed now similar to previous case first we find few terms of that sequence now it is a1 again we cannot take a0 because it is a string of length n so length must be at least 1 now a1 means number of strings of length 1 now length 1 means there is only one place which we have to fill either by 1 or 0 so 1 that is one bit string or zero that is another string of length 1 so how many strings are there two so a1 is equal to 2 now same way we calculate a2 a2 is number of strings of length 2 having no consecutive zeros so we have to fill two places using 0 and 1 but having no consecutive zeros so in how many ways we can do that see the Is our one 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 zero zero one? We can't take zero zero as consecutive zeros are not allowed. So there are three ways of forming that string of length two using zero one having no consecutive zeros. So a two is equal to three. We count these strings according to the number of leading zeros which are k in number. So leading zeros are nothing but the consecutive zeros in the starting. now case 1 k equal to 0 now k is equal to 0 means there are no leading zero in the string it means string is not starting with zero so if it is not starting with zero then the string will start with 1 now as we are forming a string of length 1 
already the first place is filled by 1. So remaining n minus 1 places we have to fill by using 0 and 1 without consecutive zeros. So by definition of n that is nothing but a n minus 1. That means there are a n minus 1 ways of forming a string of length n minus 1 using 0 1 without consecutive zeros. Now case 2 k equal to 1. Now k is equal to 1 means leading zeros are 1 in number. Now leading zeros means number of starting zeros. So k equal to 1 means string will start with 0. Now a string is starting with 0 after that 0 1 must be there because consecutive zeros are not allowed. So if one leading zero is there then such string begins with zero one by hypothesis. Now already we have filled two places out of n places. So n minus two places are remaining which again we have to fill by using zero and one and without consecutive zero. So how many ways are there to form a string of length n minus two using zero and one without consecutive zeros that is a n minus two in number. Now see cases k equal to 2, 3, 4 and so on are impossible. Why? Because if k is equal to 2 it means number of leading zeros are 2 in number. That means the string will start with 2 consecutive zeros which is not allowed. Same thing happens if k equal to 3, 4 and so on. So the cases k equal to 2, 3, 4 and so on are impossible by hypothesis. So either case 1 will be there or case 2 will be there. Now here all the strings are starting with single. Uh, all the strings are starting with 1. And in second case all the strings are starting with 0, 1. So nothing is common. So how many total ways are there of forming a string of length n satisfying given conditions? By some rule or addition principle the answer is n is equal to n minus 1 plus n minus 2. Again, if you observe here, n depends on previous two terms. So, from third term onwards, we can find all the terms if first and second term is given. So, condition on n is n greater than or equal to 3. And the first and second term values must be known. Then only we can find all the terms from A3 onwards. So, A1 is 2, A2 is 3. These are the initial conditions. So, this is the recurrence relation.